The appearance of the Flood plays a major role in the exciting action scenes and narrative turns that filled the Halo season 2 finale. Actually, the plot development of that episode has a direct bearing on what happens to Dr. Catherine Halsey at the conclusion of the second season of Halo. The season was quite the rollercoaster for the person who designed the Spartan 2 program. James Ackerson, an ONI officer, kidnaps Halsey in the first few episodes of the Sophomore trip. Ackerson has dedicated himself to producing the Spartan 3 as a replacement for his sister, who perished during Halsey's Spartan 2 augmentation procedure. As a result, Ackerson leaves Dr. Halsey to suffer during the fall of Reach, though she isn't one of the characters who dies in Halo Season 2, Episode 4. Instead, she winds up back on the UNSC-controlled planet of Onyx alongside Quan Ha, an insurrectionist rebel who's been experiencing strange visions of the Flood, and a being known only as the Mother, the unlikely duo become an even more unlikely trio when they run into Commander Miranda Keys, Halsey's estranged daughter, on the Forerunner planet. In Halo Season 2's penultimate episode, Quan relies on her visions of Forerunner star maps to solve a cryptic puzzle on Onyx one that stumps both Dr. Halsey and Miranda. Beyond the door that Quan unlocks, the trio discover much more than a Forerunner city, as Halsey suspects, but an entire S.H.I.E.L.D. world. For Halsey and Miranda, the most interesting development is the discovery of an abandoned Forerunner laboratory. Inside, the body of an almost human scientist clutches a strange device. While Quan wants nothing to do with it, Miranda takes the Forerunner scientist's device back to the base. Although Miranda is careful when opening the Forerunner device, she is unable to keep the spores contained. Soon enough, her fellow UNSC scientist is infected by the flood specimen. It's not necessarily surprising that the Forerunner device contained a genetic sample. Previously, Dr. Halsey found DNA, both theirs and ours, on Onyx. As the flood infection spreads between UNSC and ONI personnel, it eventually hijacks people who are in the command center with Halsey and other higher-ups. Although she manages to escape a mauling, Halsey reveals to Miranda that she's been infected by the flood. Halsey makes it back to Miranda's lab, she's more excited than terrified. Even though she nearly lost her life in an attack, the biologist can't help but feel inspired. Given Dr. Halsey's words in the Halo Season 1 ending, it's clear that the scientist is obsessed with forerunner technology and any biological evidence that could lead to the next stage in human evolution. After all, her previous DNA discovery on Onyx prompted Halsey to search the galaxy for unique Spartan 2 program subjects like John. Miranda, on the other hand, is horrified by their discovery. While Halo Season 2 doesn't delve into the history and origins of the Flood, it shows enough to reiterate just how much of a threat the parasitic super-being can be if it isn't properly contained. In hijacking people's bodies and neural networks, the Flood are able to absorb more information and intelligence, which feeds into its massive hive mind. With Dr. Halsey subsumed, the Flood would have a huge advantage. A fast-thinking Miranda puts Dr. Halsey in a cryo-chamber hoping the device can freeze the flood infection in its path and save her mother from joining the flood. The flood caused almost every death in Halo Season 2's finale and removed Dr. Halsey from the equation temporarily. The parasitic super-being is the galaxy's greatest threat. The sophomore outing of Halo did a lot to set up Season 3, it introduced the flood and shield worlds like Onyx. While the show has already revealed that the Halo is a super-weapon, the third season is sure to delve into its galaxy sterilizing potential. With Halo Season 3 beginning combat evolved story, there's room for Dr. Halsey's return, but it's not clear if Miranda can save her mother from the flood. The flood caused almost every death in Halo Season 2's finale and removed Dr. Halsey from the equation temporarily. The parasitic super being is the galaxy's greatest threat. The sophomore outing of Halo did a lot to set up Season 3, it introduced the Flood and Shield worlds like Onyx.